everyone, my name is Regini. I am a student at FHWS studying robotics in English and I am here to answer a few questions of yours about the degree program. So as evident from the name, robotics is all about the science behind designing, building, developing, programming, operating, implementing a robot in any field you like and it deals with topics such as artificial intelligence, automation, image processing, image recognition and the likes. No, it is not necessary. In the first semester you are taught programming from the most basic level going up. So even if you are a total beginner to programming, you will still manage to do well. However, if you do have time and you wish to study before you start your program, you're more than welcome to. It will help you. It's very simple. Go to the university's website and they select our program, Robotics in English, and you will see all the requirements you need. And it is different for students in the EU and outside the EU. So just check your requirements, check if you have the documents. And there are also steps on how you can apply on which website and what account to create. And it's quite smooth from there. I would say, I think the second semester was the easiest for me because yeah, in the first semester, obviously, it was so new to be in a university that I didn't really catch the flow quickly. But in semester two, even the modules we had were quite based on the first semester subjects. So it was more of just like a second level build up on the first semester. So I didn't really find it so hard. And yeah, pretty much that. Yeah. And in the third semester, we got a bit like intense, I would say. Like the third semester was a bit hard in comparison to the previous two because the modules also got heavier and the workload was also the same, but the content was just too much. Does the difficulty of the lab course increase each semester? It does. It increases according to the modules you take, so mostly the topics that you're covering in the theory modules are going to be related to the practicals you're going to do that same semester. So obviously if the content gets harder, even the labs will get tougher. But I think after the first semester, you will get pretty much used to working on labs that you won't really feel it being so difficult because you'd have gotten used to the flow of, you know, just working around. And the job prospects, I think after accomplishing the robotics degree program are quite many because you can go in any field you want. As we all know, the field of robotics is expanding vastly. So you can either go into research, production, you can also have your own startup if you like. You can join a simple engineering firm and work there too. You can go into the automobile industry. I think. It is quite fast and it is quite many and the fact that it is a growing field they are always in need of more and more robotics engineers so it is quite beneficial for us doing this program I feel as there are more jobs than people available for those jobs. The best part about this degree program is the labs or the practicals that we get to do because in a semester we have about 5 to 10 labs and they're all different labs. Some are individual based, some are team based and with all of them you get to learn just so many different things and the best part like it's just working on like getting hands on learning or hands on teaching and it's just so... I think it just feels good having to actually work with and just not read and just not read a textbook and answer questions and solve problems. But when you get to actually working on a robotic arm and you see it 
running the program that you wrote, you're going to feel like, okay, this is, you know, I'm actually learning. I'm actually working towards, you can see you work yourself working in the future doing that stuff. So that's why I like, that's the best part about this degree program for me. We have a special robotics module each semester in which we will have from a range of five to ten different labs which you have to do some are individual based some are team based and they range in completely different fields uh, some of the projects that i did were simulation of a robot arm or programming a microcontroller camera calibration working on industrial drives and others so during the semester, these labs are spread out, so maybe two a month or something, and you'll be given time to prepare also in advance for them, and you go carry out the lab on campus. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> so one of the other good things about the degree program that once you, in the admission requirements, there is no pre-study internship required, you will get to learn all those things in the lab during this during your degree program so you do not need a pre-study internship for this degree uh, mostly the lectures are held at campus too which is the robotics campus but due to this corona situation sometimes we have to switch from physical learning to online learning which is also not so bad because the labs and the projects are still done on campus that does not change but just the theoretical classes which we used to have in a lecture room are switched to online and i think it is fine because it doesn't really make a difference because you're just covering up theory content so yeah it works pretty well but now we are going back to it or sometimes in the semester there's a mix of it there's some face-to-face -face teaching and there's some online teaching Student college graduates don't need to provide test as results. They only have to fulfill the general admission requirements such as school leaving certificate, language proficiency, a CV or a resume and the likes. Students can apply for credit transfer within the first month of starting their studies. This degree program starts in October, so basically you have from the 1st of October to the 1st of November to apply for any credit transfers you have from a previous degree. Yes, actually students are encouraged by the university to spend a summer or two abroad. A very general and important requirement is that the student, the outgoing student, is performing well in the course. If a student is struggling to keep the pace of their studies, going abroad might just make the whole situation worse. That is why it is recommended that only if you feel you are doing well, you might go for a semester or two abroad and it might actually challenge you more. Mostly in the sciences, such as I think physics, math and any computer science or IT, would do you really good because having an understanding of them is important maybe not so much for IT but math and physics should be quite important like even a high school background is enough because in the first semester you have a lot of the whole thing is based on what you've learned in high school and even though yes the professors might do a little recap on it it is a lot better if you actually come from that background and understand it in depth for any of the topics that were discussed in this video, if you have any more questions or you want more detailed information into it, you will find the respective links below in the description. So just click away and you'll be there.